Hi everybody, welcome to YS Kong Driving and today we have before us the new BMW X5 xDrive 45e M Sport. So that's quite a mouthful, right? But basically it's a X5 and this is the plug-in hybrid as you can see. This is now been added to the CKD list of uh, BMW vehicles. So we should see some reduction in prices. New features on this car include adaptive LED lights, LED fog lights, 20-inch M light alloy wheels and M Sport brakes. So powering this car is a 3-litre 6-cylinder uh, engine with turbocharger and uh, also with the plug-in hybrid drive. A uh, total of 394 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque. Top speed is 235 kilometers per hour and believe me, it is uh, controlled electronically and 0 to 100 is done in 5.6 seconds. This is almost supercar status, yeah? In uh, EV mode, it can drive up to 77 kilometers now and uh, maximum speed you can hit in full electric mode is 135 kilometers per hour. And in this mode, uh, together with the engine, the rated fuel consumption is just 2.5 liters per 100 kilometers, but what you will actually get on the road might be a little bit higher than that. And emission, which is the key, is only 56 grams per kilometer. Okay, let's zoom in on the car a little bit. So, as you can see, this is actually a plug-in hybrid and what they've done is they have done a wall plug. I'm not sure if it's really a working one. I suppose it's just a dummy. But this is to show how the car can be charged up by using your household circuit. And this is good for 77 kilometers to drive on full electric mode. So therefore, if you live roughly uh, between 30 kilometers uh, from your house to your office, you can theoretically run, go to work and come back without using any fuel, just running on the charge. Now, here are the 20 inch wheels and you can see, wow, it's got, these are the M Sport, these are the performance brakes and that one looks like, I really can't tell, but it looks like a six spot caliper, it could be four, looks like six though. And you can see the front, is running wishbones yeah and you can see aluminium suspension now this car has got air suspension and i suppose it's auto height adjustable because uh, the battery is quite heavy at the back yeah and at the back you also get another slightly smaller uh, this looks like single pot but huge um, brakes and that's ventilated this at the back too yeah and uh, of course it's as I mentioned now this car doesn't have a seven seater so the top part is electric there are two parts of the tailgate and the bottom half of the tailgate is mechanical but it's got this little shock absorber here to make it easy to open so you just push it up Okay, and to unlock it, you just have to press the button. Oh, that's press the button. Oh, that one raises the height. Hmm. Okay, so suspension can be raised or lowered. And the reason why this is only a five-seater uh, is because the battery sits here. So according to what I was told just now, this is the cover here uh, for your stuff. There's no spare tire, yeah? These are run flats and the battery is actually in front of this. So the battery starts here and ends up behind the back of the rear seats. And as you can, as you can see, the seats split 40, 20, 40. And total uh, space here is 500 liters at the back without the seats down. With the seats down, you get 1720. Uh, liters okay here is the back tailgate and this one lowers the suspension can you lower this oh this raises it again ah see so if you you press it you can go up or down okay i'm going to press it one more time
Yep, you can see the suspension going down. Yeah, this is to help you load up the car. All right, that's pretty neat. Very good convenience feature. And here's the remote to close. All right, that looks good. And it's even got a rear wiper. Okay, so let's take a look at the engine. This is a very... I love this engine because uh, the original six-cylinder that this family came from was in the Z4 and also uh, in the the first one time I saw it was uh, how do I open this got to find the lever okay, it's always like a treasure hunt the first time you try to open the bonnet oh double sorry thanks so Alvin helped me to open it. Okay, it's a double lock like all the new BMWs. My mistake. Okay, the first time I saw this engine, it wasn't like this. It, this is actually a straight six, but the cover makes it look like it's a V. Uh, the first time I saw it was in the 335i. That time it had a twin turbo, and then I saw it in the Z4, but later they switched it to a single turbo. And... It produces about 300 and a little bit horsepower, but together with the hybrid system, it gets 394 uh, horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque. Now, elsewhere, the vehicle is very much the same as the uh, X5, and uh, but he, this one has got extra bracing for the. This is probably to hold the top part. This is probably to hold the top part of the frame here and keep everything intact. And of course, this is meant to crumple, yeah. And these are the huge kidneys. Hmm. BMW is having some kidney issues, I suppose. But uh, well, it's a love it or hate it kind of thing. I am neutral. <laughs> yes, I'm neutral. Yeah, the bonnet feels very light it looks like it's aluminum and so I can tell you they have done a lot of work in terms of uh, trying to reduce the weight of this car so I can bet you uh, just now I saw the suspension was already aluminum and I'm sure the arms down there which I'm too old to climb under uh, I'm sure they have a lot of aluminum parts too and you can see the louvers here they are closed but they open when the engine gets warm Okay, let's take a look inside the car. This is what BMW calls a live cockpit professional with gesture control. I slid the seats back and that's the steering. Quite nice and chubby uh, hole. Uh, maybe a bit too chubby for me, but I'm okay with it as long as I can hold it. Now, this is the... Uh, electronic cockpit digital cockpit and this is the 12.3 inch screen so they have gesture control so you can well I was told you can do gestures but I let's just use the old-fashioned method yeah so if you don't know how to use all that stuff you can also uh, use the good old-fashioned twiddle the knob down here this is like a command center or mouse that you can use you can you can use that to scroll through the things that you want yeah you can see here you can go by scrolling through aircon is a four zone electronic control and this is an eight speed gearbox it's an automatic yeah with uh, paddle shifters so everything is nice and good and also they have here height adjustment you also have your gear stick push button start here then you have traction control off then you have parking sensor and sport hybrid electric adaptive auto uh, parking brake uh, hill descent control yeah, everything you want is here, all at your fingertip. And uh, up 
here oh there's plenty of space here okay so this is built for a very tall guy and uh, up here you have a panoramic skylight or sunroof but it's huge you can see the sky okay now here's another look i'm gonna slide the seats back a bit to the normal position now looking at the seats is a very special kind of leather I forgot the name but it's supposed to be very high class leather and of course the sound system is a Harman Kardon system with I think 12 speakers and uh, let's not talk about the safety but anyway I see uh, airbags and side curtains of course you have the normal uh, front driver and passenger then you have the side curtains on the A pillar do you have it on the B pillar and then the seats are pretty nice they are contoured and as usual bmw have the little thing here that allows you to adjust your height uh sorry for your knee rest and paddles are aluminum with rubber and let's take a look at the back okay so there is there are two screens at the back so this is basically made for four people to live in style but uh, at a pinch you can have a fifth person yeah okay so i see another curtain airbag at the side there on the c pillar and there's also a d pillar but there's nothing there and let's look at the b pillar b pillar i don't see so possibly this car has got six airbags they didn't say uh, we'll check later whether there's a knee airbag okay so at the back the passenger gets 10.2 inch screen and not only one but two okay so there's plenty of leg room and it's very comfortable and then there's a uh, four zone aircon yeah two zones in front two zones at the back and this is what the cockpit looks like from the back so this is a pretty nice car and on top of that you also have this aircon vents at the side and well, the finishing here is not bad it's got some wood finish so okay so that's about it this is the bmw x5 x drive 45e m sport i challenge you to say it without referring to a piece of paper now okay then so uh well we hope to get a test drive soon, but until then, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.